Hello and welcome along to the next episode of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. So this video is going to be an introduction for the next project coming up on this channel. And that's going to be a Mercedes Trekker minibus, as you can see here. Now I've had this parked up for a while now while I've been finishing off, while well, doing the full conversion of a VW T5. Now this conversion is pretty much all done, the bodywork's all done, it's going to be going in for paint soon. But I can't get it in yet, so in the meantime I'm going to be starting on the bus while the, the T5's waiting to go in for paint. Because once that's painted, then that's actually fully finished off completely. So I did do a bit of a roundup video when I did buy this originally. I'll put some of that up now just to show you what it looked like when I first bought it. I have a lovely little Mercedes Trekker minibus that I've just purchased. Now this is a 16-seater mobility minibus, the type that has the wheel. Uh, the wheelchair lift at the back as well now everything in here is absolutely superb condition so I'm going to be taking these seats out just to try and sell online just to try and recoup some of the money I paid for the bus so as you can see I've cracked on a little bit I've stripped out a little bit of the interior I've now got all the seats out so as you can see it's a nice big open space now that's now ready to start getting completely stripped back as it, all the seats are gone, they've been sold online, they recouped uh, a nice little bit of money back towards the cost of the van. And as I say, now it's a really nice big open space ready to actually be stripped back even further and then built out. It still has the wheelchair lift underneath it, I'm going to be taking that off with all of the controls. All of the fiberglass inside is going to be coming off, all of the window surrounds, the floor is going to be coming up. All the roofing is going to be coming down. It's going to be basically getting stripped all the way back to a bare fiberglass shell, which the outer shell of the actual van is fully fiberglass. So in theory, there should be no rust issues with this van. I did have a look underneath it as well, and the chassis did look solid as a rock when I bought it. But obviously when this flooring all gets ripped up, it's going to expose the full bare chassis and then I'll be able to wax oil it, make sure it's all fully protected for the future as well. So it's coming along compared to when I first got it. As I say, all the seats are out, all the rails are all taken down. So now I'm going to have to start stripping off all of the fiberglass surrounds, and we'll see how we get on. But as I say, it should be a really nice project this. It should be a really, really nice conversion when it's fully finished. This is probably going to be my highest spec conversion yet. This is going to have... Uh, probably either 500 maybe 750 watts of solar panel it's going to be a bathroom with hot water built in it's going to be victron equipment coming in for uh, battery charging inverters i've got a huge agm marine grade batteries for this as well underslung gas tank so everything's going to be documented on this job by job as i go through as i have with all of my other jobs as well as i say the t5 out there is fully converted on my channel the T4 is also fully documented as well as a few little micro campers as well. So hit that subscribe button, follow along with this build. As I say, there's going to be a hell of a lot of jobs to come on this. There's going to be a few jobs just getting it all stripped back to the bare chassis, then getting it all built up again from bare scratch, basically. So as I say, hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up. And as I say, we'll follow along and see what the end result's going to be. And hopefully, a few months time, if less, we'll see how we get on.